It's the political party conference season again here in Britain. There will be a general election before the three major parties can again spend a few days at the traditional seaside locations. The Liberal Democrats ended their last evening in Bournemouth with a rousing sing-song featuring a 100-year-old political favourite, American in origin, called The Land. It was much loved by the last Liberal Prime Minister, David Lloyd George. Andrew Whitehead, our political correspondent, reports from Bournemouth. Labour has the red flag, Conservatives sing Land of Hope and Glory, for Liberals it's always been the land, and nobody sings it quite as well as the Welsh Liberal Democrats. I think it's connected with a style of hymn singing, and indeed you can sing it with the fervour of a Welsh male voice choir, and you can sing it with feeling, and that's what happens obviously. The land, the land was God who gave the land. The land, the land, the ground on which we stand. Why should we be beggars? In other words, why we should be? Why should we be servants? Why should we be servile? With the ballot in our hand. In other words, we've got the vote now. We've got the freedom to do what we want. God gave the land to the people. When Oro Jones springs from the same radical Welsh tradition as Lloyd George. But the land is the anthem of liberals from all parts of the country. A song not terribly well known. It seems never to have been commercially recorded. But a former Labour Party leader, Michael Foot, admits it's the best political song around. I was brought up in a liberal household down in Cornwall and Plymouth, and my father was a liberal member of Parliament, a radical liberal, and he taught me the song. And way back in uh, in in when I the 1920s, I heard the song being sung, but for sheer rhythm and uh, effectiveness and for a simple democratic message, I think the land song still retains the uh, vibrance and the rhythm that I've mentioned. The land, the land was not of course, the battle for the ballot was won long ago, and no one in Britain talks today about the struggle against the landlords. Liberal Democrat MP Mingis Campbell as enthusiastic as anyone in his rendition of the land, concedes the song looks back on the liberal traditions of long ago. All political parties are based on sentiment and nostalgia. And although everyone talks about a new launch and a new agenda and all of that sort of customary language, the truth is the roots of parties are very, very important to activists. And in a way, those who sing the land, those who can sing it without reference to a songbook to read the words from, they're harking back to something with which they feel comfortable, something that they feel is part of the heritage of, first of all, the Liberal Party, and now the Liberal Democrats. But it's not just an anthem of the old, anything but. Candy Piercy, a Liberal Democrat Party worker. It's a bloody good tune, and that's the first thing. It really is something that people can sing hard and long and loud, and uh, hello be it spoken, people can sing it who perhaps don't have terribly tuneful voices. But nevertheless, it's the words that really get people going, and it's the belief in the basic principles behind the song. The ballot box, the power of democracy, and the power of the people to affect their own destiny. And when the land is sung, again and again, on the last evening of the conference, the party leader, Paddy Ashdown, is up there on the platform leading the rendition. Oh, it's a great traditional liberal song which was about the days when agricultural workers were slaves. It's about liberty. It's still an inspiring song. Oh, a greatly inspiring song. So stirring is the song, Michael Foote is keen to claim it for his political tradition. It wasn't only a, a song that was sung by liberals. I, I assure you that the socialists were singing that song even more rightfully and justly than liberals were doing. I think uh, Michael Foote is, uh, shall we say, uh, bending history a little uh, to suit the present political position in which he finds himself. He's right about it being the best political song. Uh, I wish he'd come and sing it with us more often. God gave the land for the yes, a rousing last evening sing-song at the Liberal Democrats conference in Bournemouth. Now, a brief bit of advertising. 